Hello, this is Haka Dabin, and today we are going to reading SCP-268, also known as the Cap of Neglect. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. I don't know if I've actually read this before or not. I remember SCP-268, Object Class, Euclid. Special containing procedures. SCP-268 is currently to be maintained within data expunged, has not been and deemed the chance of use for foundation of escape by retreating personnel or humanoid SCP is too great. How the possibility used by field agents after further testing is under review. See addendum, and that has all been crossed out except for see addendum 26805. Description. SCP-268 is a tweed and wool newsboy cap. The design and make seem, seems to be of Irish origin. Due to the style and fabric, it is estimated that to have been created in the late 1800s to early 1900s. Though fiber and error analysis is inconclusive. The only markings on the cap are a small label with writing Middle Irish reading, The Garden is the Serpent's Place. However, there are various indications that this label was still not to the cap in recent times. Oh, this is a, an artifact from the Serpent's Library. Due to the nature of the artifact, testing has been extremely difficult. SCP-268 seems to be a normal hat until it is worn. Anyone wearing the hat, however, becomes suddenly and instantly unnoticeable. Subjects become unmemorable, thoroughly ignorable or taken for granted by all observers. Observers with specific prompting are able to later recall physically seeing a subject but can give no specific details other than seeing a man with a hat. Observers seem to have the overwhelming feeling that the wearer is someone that was supposed to be there and thus did not merit thought or notice. During initial testing, remote analysis completely forgot what they were supposed to be observing within the chamber. And, uh, and it was not until the D class subject wearing SCP 268 spoke out loud that he was noticed again. Removal of the artifact was like localization and physical interaction with observers seems to be the only way in which words of SCP 268 can make themselves noticeable. Once an observer has been made to notice an SCP, is 268 wearing an individual, they slowly began they slowly begin to ignore the subject once more unless kept actively engaged by the wearer. Testing reveals that if a subject wears SCP-268 upwards of 20 out of 20 um, emulative hours, it effects seems to linger with diminished potency. On the subject, even while not wearing the e artifact, testing in this area has been cautious due to the possibility of containment breaches. But one instance, see addendum 26804, has certain that if the artifact is worn long enough, that the effect is rendered permanent and unbreakable. Extensive research is still unable to determine whether or not electronics are directly affected by SCP 268. Observers viewing an SCP-68 wearing subject through electronic means still have difficulty acknowledging the subject's existence, even when noticed, observers are reported to be unable to see the face of the individual in question. Observers note pictures of SCP-268 wearing individuals as being blurry, and digital media such as surveillance cameras is reported to become grainy and unfocused. Research is unsure whether these alterations are extant and physical or merely perceived due to SCP-268's properties. It should be noted that auto capturing SCP-268 through electronic means has been difficult. Motion sensing, weight sensing, and heat sensing in when devices all trigger correctly when encountering an SCP-268 wearing subject. Addendum 26801. SCP-268 is known to have some similarities to SCP-180. 
SCP-268, however, does not seem to function on inanimate objects, and more importantly, does not directly steal the identity of its host. While well, SCP-180 causes its host to become unrecognizable after SCP-180 itself is removed and placed on another object, this seems to be a side effect of its function of identity theft and transfer. Meanwhile, SCP-268 could be said to steal the identity of longtime wearers as they become irrevocably forgotten. This caused some speculation as to whether the items share similar origins or whether the many similarities they share are merely coincidental. Addendum 26802. At Agent Redacted's request, after approval by Dr. Redacted and Dr. Klein, SCP-268 is being used with agents in fact in active field duty. The results thus far have been favorable. Addendum 26803. Field testing has been suspended. No agent redacted appears to have been on payroll and on records. No personnel, either or on site redacted or in higher command, remembers knowing or hearing about agent redacted. Further tests should be conducted only on D class personnel and on no single individual for longer than 10 hours. Addendum 26804. SCP-268's effects seem to strengthen and become permanent as individual or subjects where the artifact for extended periods of cumulative time. There is a marked difference in policy of SCP-268's effect on someone wearing it for the first time. As someone who has worn the artifact upwards of 5 hours on other occasions, for example, or someone who has not worn the cap before, or seems to dispel its effects merely by speaking. Those who have worn the ER effect on several occasions for extended amounts of time seem to be able to ask observers questions and receive answers with the observer having little to no recollection of the event. In one test, a subject who had worn the ER effect for upwards of 15 hours was able to speak to ask standing personnel the test chamber's password, nearly causing a container breach and the escape of the class personnel. The security a person on question reported being unable to recall part and with that with the information in question. This is a note from Dr. Klein. As of a redacted date, SCP-268 is missing. Its absence was discovered early in the morning by Agent Redacted and Research Analyst, and in its place was a note reading, Thanks, I need my hat back. LS. A full investigation of this security breach has been launched as of a redacted date. Refer to data expunged. There's some interesting lore behind the, the acronym LS. It actually stands for Lil Sister, and it's what a certain member of the Serpent of the Serpent's Hand, which is a multi-dimensional library, or a multi-dimensional group that uh, exists in a multi-dimensional library called uh, the Wanderers Library calls all the other versions of themselves. Anyway, that was SCP-268. An interesting thing had that when you put it on makes you completely unnoticeable unless you decide to touch, speak, or directly interact with someone. If you liked this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what, what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye! Wait.